don't think there is any better way to start the day than with a little bit of forging. These are punches that I have made up because on our hand tool only knife, we're planning to do domed peened pins, which is a very complex task. It adds a lot of mechanical strength to the knife, but it's a great way to destroy all the nice work that we've done on the handle. So I'm excited to try this because this is a big challenge and it is fantastic to bring you along with it. Here is what we made yesterday. This is the Nick Wheeler inspired pin doming jig. Of course, we just made that. So naturally you're telling yourself, well, great, Alec, isn't it time to glue up and, and pin this thing together, p rivet this thing together? No, I'm not happy with something. Oh, I'm not happy with something. I am not happy with the fit up between the handle and the bolster. It's just not good enough. As someone who talks about trying to do good work, I sure sometimes fail. Look at that gap. That is unacceptable. Look at that. Would you look at that? Come on, Alec, what are you doing? Come on, what is that? Look at that. I can practically fit a razor blade in it. Look at that. This is a one thou shim. Goes right in. Terrible. Just terrible. Then look at that. That's just appalling. Look at the earth. Would you look at the earth? Uh, no. Okay, I can't fit paper in it. I still don't think that's good enough. Do you think I'd buy an iPhone and then be happy with a one thousandth gap between the screen and the body? Oh, nice phone case. AlexSteelShop.com. No, I wouldn't. So on those grounds, why would I spend all this time trying to make this thing good and then skimp right there, right at the end, after six days of work? Well, the reason I would do that is because I would be a numpty. We know I'm a numpty, which is why I almost did. But it's the attention to the detail, it's the follow-through that hopefully stops me being a numpty in the future. We all have a very short time on this earth, and when it's all said and done, it will have been our own choice as to what it is that we leave as our legacy. We're gonna do better. We will do better, and we must do better. This is a piece of G10. We're gonna use this as a spacer material, so we are gonna cut out a hole for the tang. We are gonna shape this, and because it is one millimeter thick, we will have to shave off one millimeter from the end of this wood for it to all fit up. <laughs> Wait, what? Red daikum? I'm such a failure, I can't even play blue daikum? Thank you NYC CNC on YouTube for this little super glue fixturing trick. This time I used two pieces of masking tape like you're supposed to and it worked so much better. You smell that? The smell of failure is in the air. <laughs> oh, is that a familiar smell? It is currently about 10 times worse. That is with the pin jammed in. That's appalling. This is not good. I used this here, a file guide, to try and square up that uh, square out the back of the bolster, which meant that we removed a lot of material because my file guide kept slipping without me realizing it. So I kept filing and filing and filing as that file guide sank down, 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 which means that we went too far, which means that there is a lot of gap there and it is still not as flat as it should be. Numptiness has not been averted. We indeed have some serious numptiness. Copper, copper, copper. I reckon we'll be all right though. We can just keep uh, We'll just end up keeping on stacking materials until we get there. Hopefully before it's a completely stacked copper and G10 handle. So in here right now is some G10. It is about one millimeter thick. Here I've got some one and a half millimeter copper. Yes, oh, that's good. So that means if we go ahead and use this copper, we'll have 22 thousandths of an inch to play with to hopefully get this thing seated flat.
pull this out, pull this off. I'm gonna make a little scratch line on, on the copper up here so I know how to orient it. And now it's time for some acetone. Clean out the hole with the acetone. Glove up, glove up, glove up, glove up. Wipe this down, wipe this down, wipe this down, or acetone, wipe this down. Time for more tricks that I picked up from Nick Wheeler's YouTube videos with our little uh, test pin. We're gonna slather it in Vaseline, that way it won't bond. And now we're gonna take some good epoxy, we're gonna pour some out, we're gonna mix it up, decide we need more, keep mixing it up. So we're about an hour or so in and I decided I'd get in here with a piece of one thou shim and just check that it didn't fit in anywhere. I go to the transition to the bolster and the copper and what on earth? I mean, that is just terrible. Look at that. Oh, Got look it. at there. So, you know what that means. <laughs> Thank goodness this is slow setting epoxy. Oh my goodness, does that hurt. Ouch. You know, there is a great thing about making, which is not only do you get to make cool stuff and enjoy that process, but you get to learn a lot about yourself and you get to learn a lot about, you know, what it is to live life. And the more I make, it seems to me that life is a battle. It is a battle and a struggle between our highest ideals of glory and excellence and the highest things that we strive for and the darkest, deepest, most depraved parts of our character where there is no integrity and where there is foolishness and laziness and carelessness. And it is that battle that is life. And it is the outcome of that battle that determines who we are and what is the legacy that we leave. It is the outcome of that battle that is fundamentally important in what is the mark that we leave on this planet. And by golly, that's an exciting battle. That is a tough battle. Because in my short life, I can certainly tell you I do not see the end of this battle. I've not spent a lot of time on this planet, but I am certainly learning just how much of this struggle there is to go. Just, just how much I have to learn. How much discipline and skill I lack and just how long this journey is. More mistakes. More mistakes that need to be fixed. We're only at a two millimeter spacer now. Starting from a one millimeter, we still have one millimeter to mess with until we start having to double stack materials. Because we had one millimeter G10, one and a half millimeter copper, we've got two millimeter copper. That's what we're on now. The last step's gonna be three millimeter copper. I hope that's the last step. Let me explain a little bit of what's happened. I cut out another two millimeter spacer and I got it all shaped up, ready for us to pretty much be ready at a glue up. You know, this would have required some shaving of the handle material to get it all set. And then I looked at it. Would you believe it was as simple as looking at it and checking. It's all it takes, looking at it and checking. And I would have learned this lesson, I would have spotted this earlier. And I noticed that my bolster is no longer square to the blade. It is tipped at an angle. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely terrible. And it's not something that can stand because this then means that once this is finally assembled, you're gonna be looking at it as you're using it and you're gonna go and you're gonna see that everything is twisted that way. So when we fail in our battle against the highest ideals of who it is that we want to be and the highest ideals of what it is that we want to make and the highest ideals of the legacy that we want to leave behind us, there are two options. We either sit down and we say, no, that's not for me. Those ideals aren't for me. Or we stand up and we say, no, I can do better. I can do better. My hands can do better. My character can be better. I can have more determination. I can make it better and so we try and if we don't we get back up we try it again and if we don't that time we get back up we try it again it's all there is to it that's all there is you can do to make sure that you lie down in bed at the end of your day and at the end of your life you sit in your deathbed and you go yeah I think I did a pretty good job I put it all in I'll put it all on the table It's now a day since we last spoke. It's a, it's a day since I decided that I could do better, and I've done better. 
I did forget, very briefly, that this was a hand tool project and I used the surface grinder, uh, but my bond on the surface grinder didn't work well enough and it flew off the surface grinder and then I remembered, wait, this is a hand tool project. So I ended up working that spacer down by, with sandpaper by hand. So pardon the power tool usage, but we are back now and we have a no gap fit up. Our bolster to the copper, there is no gap. Our copper to the wood, there is no gap. And I'm confident about that. So now, back where I was on Friday afternoon, now on Sunday afternoon. Sunday, 1.20 in the afternoon. It's now time for that glue up. And this time, there is not a chance in hell that we are going to get a 1,000th feeler gauge in there. You know why? Because I made sure of it. And that is a good feeling. We've got a Vaselined up pin. All of this has been degreased with acetone. We're gonna mix up some epoxy. Glue that sucker in, clamping it this way. In our doming jig. Gluing, I am proud of the last few days work. I am very pleased with everything that I have learned and honored to have brought you along for the journey. Thank you for being here for this journey. Tomorrow, the education, and that is the education that this process is giving me will continue, and I am looking forward to seeing you then. I'm gonna be giving away a t-shirt. So have your notifications on here on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, and at some point in the day, before tomorrow's upload goes live, will be a secret phrase that you can use. The first person to comment that on the video when it goes live on the YouTube, because you got your notifications on, giving you a free t-shirt of your choice. I I cannot wait to see you tomorrow. Please do, if you enjoy the show, grab your merchandise at alexsteelshop.com. It's an honor and a pleasure, as always, to share this with you. Thank you.